Hey there, teacher. I'm Alicia, the elementary professor, and today I have another fraction game with a deck of cards. All right, so yesterday we did the game um, Simple Simon. If you didn't see that video, I will link it below, where students took the cards and put them in simplest form um, for Simple Simon's benefit. Today we're talking about improper Ivan, though. An improper Ivan is a very improper young man. Improper Ivan does all kinds of improper things. He cuts in line, he tells stories about people, he interrupts the teacher, and he always, always writes his fraction with the bigger number on top. And we need to help improper Ivan. So we're gonna take his improper numbers and turn them into mixed numbers. So, for this game, if you saw Simple Simons yesterday, this one runs the pretty darn close the same way. Your students might want to have a scratch sheet of paper and a pencil in case they need to work things out, but you're trying also to develop some mental math fluency here. And once again, we are also using just the one through tens, my aces are ones. Um, if you wanna add the royalty cards in later and give them a challenge, you can do that and sign them a number. So in this case, here's what we do. We take two players and we put, you just draw the, just straight off the top two cards and you put the biggest one on top. And now what I have to do to keep my cards is to say this in a mixed number. So I would say one and three sevenths. And if I am correct and my partner agrees, I get to keep them. And then my partner goes, put the biggest one on top, three halves, and my partner says one and one half. And I say, I agree. And my partner can keep that. And then I go again and I say 10 ninths. Let's see, one and one ninth. My partner agrees, I keep those. And then let's say <laughs> three halves again. My partner's so lucky, one and a half. And then I go again and I say seven sevenths. And let's say that I say this, this is the um, closest you'll get to not being able to make a simplest form number. And I would have to say one. It's not a mixed number, but it is a whole. So we're putting it, that's kind of simplest form. But let's say that my partner now gets 10 ninths and they say one and five ninths is the answer. And I say, no, 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 it's one and one ninth. And then we discuss it and we know that I'm right. So I get to keep my partner's cards. And it plays like this until the deck is gone and just like the last game, this is a, um, whoever has the most cards at the end of the game wins. So you keep playing, run out of cards, and then count the cards you have left in your pile that you got to keep. And that is the winner. Um, I was mentioning the cards we took out to your Jack, Queen, and King. If you need to give students a challenge after they've learned how to play the game, you can write these on the board. I would do something like a jack is 12. I mean, you can make these anything. You can do go in order, do um, 11, 12, 13. Or you can do like 12, 15, 20, since those are more commonly um, creating different types of fractions. Just write whatever it is on the board so that they know what they are to refer back to. Um, also, like simple, Simon, you can do this for another challenge. You can do a speed game instead. Instead of me and you taking turns, you would do it. Where did I put those? I just mixed in my royalty cards right there. Woo. Okay. Instead of taking turns, you would take one. The one person would do the whole deck at a time, trying to go as fast as they can while their partner kept track of the time and made sure they were right. So let's say I'm going and you're keeping track, and I would say one whole. What? What the heck? <laughs> what? Okay. Let me shuffle these for a second. I don't know how that happened. Wow, they're all kind of in order like that. I swear I shuffled these. Okay, five, one, so I'll say five. Um, it's gotta be improper there, so um, two and a half. Now if I said, and it's up to you if you want, if I said two and two fourths, are you gonna accept that or do you want it all the way in simplest form? Um, partner has to check, um, if I say four, and I just go and go until I'm done with the whole deck and then I have my time. And then my partner goes while well, I keep track of time and keep track of whether or not they're right. And then you can either play whoever had the fastest time wins or you keep track of your own time and you're trying to better your best every time you play. So that's up to you. 
Um, I always like to do the better your best, kind of compete against just yourself. So that's how we play Improper Ivan. I hope that sounds like a fun game to you. I will um, link the other video for um, Simple Slime in below, as well as give you a link to a free equivalent fractions um, mystery picture download on my blog. So see that section below, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.